I'm going to demonstrate two really important concepts in Adobe Flash, symbols and layers, by drawing a cartoon dog. First of all, I'm going to rename layer 1 as head, because that's where I'm going to start. And then we're going to use the oval tool with a black stroke and a brown fill. And draw an oval. This will make the head. I'll use the free transform tool to rotate the head into position. And that is my first symbol. To make it a symbol, I'll go to the modify menu and choose convert to symbol. I'm going to leave the type as graphic, but call this the head symbol. <clears throat> That's symbol number one. Now I'm going to create a new layer by clicking on the small icon in the bottom left hand corner of the timeline. Rename that layer as ear. Make sure the pencil icon shows I'm drawing on the ear layer and then draw another, this time tall and thin, oval. And I'm going to use the selection tool just to change the shape of it a bit. Okay, now there's a really clever thing you can do. I'm going to put it on top of the head and then use the eraser tool very quickly in erase lines mode to get rid of the black lines at the top. Double click on the ear, go to the modify menu and convert that to a symbol. Okay, so I've got two symbols now. The next one I'll do is a nose. We'll create another layer call it nose, make sure we're drawing on it, get the oval tool, the nose is going to be black, I'll draw it slightly away from the head for now, Let's slightly change the shape with this selection tool again, double click, modify, convert to symbol, nose, drag that into position on the head. So I've got three symbols now, a head, an ear and a nose. Each one has its own layer. Now I'm going to do the eye in two parts. First of all, on a layer called eye, I'll make the white of the eye. Again an oval, this time with a white fill, about that size. Double click on it to select it, modify, convert to symbol. Now this obviously isn't a complete eye, it needs a pupil, and for that I'm going to do a black oval, about that size. And actually, just as a finishing touch, try putting a small, although this can be tricky to do without zooming in, a small white, there you go, a small white reflection in the pupil. I'm going to use my selection tool to get both of those ovals modify them at the same time, convert them to one symbol called pupil. And now that can sit on the same layer as the white of the eye. And the reason I've kept that as its own symbol is that I might want to put him in the top right so that he's looking up and forwards, or I might want to put that pupil at the bottom so that he's looking backwards. OK, that's the basics behind layers and symbols. And if I look in my library panel, you'll see that all of those symbols I made are available to be used again and again on any layer I want.